Yeah. She's been keeping her mouth closed all night. However, that is not her motto today. No, that's not even anything. How to get the car service. Jeez. Um, we need to, I have to get a book so we can, I'm going to find another Until one. the, this is all 2009, June. June. This is like, when she, when she writes, when she writes her book, it's called Mom's oh, we have Daily all Journal. Of the, all of them, the little mm -hmm. purple one, remember? I like to rearrange these because they are never in the place that I want them. And it's definitely my my OC, not OCD, but you know when you're not organized anywhere else in your life, when you find little quirks that you can be organized in. But when I open it, this one, the first entry, because this is when it happened, it happened the 22nd, which is what's tattooed here on me. Everything, this changed everything. The 23rd at 8.15 a.m. Um, p.m., sorry. Mom was admitted into the surgery room around 11 a.m. These are mixed. Okay, around 11. She came out, smooth, successful surgery. Doctors are concerned about her ability to be able to breathe on her own. And then it goes into it. They place the rod to drain the blood. Is this procedure a part of their treatment and not for something else that she needs to be on a ventilator? There's some really crazy stuff in there. CAT scans read massive swelling on the brain and it's getting closer to normal. Still a lot of bleeding on her brain. But she's going to survive. Blood transfusion the next day. Her blood count dropped. Swelling is coming down and getting closer to normal. They put a feeding tube in. Blood transfusion again. She's bleeding. Um, CAT scans need to see where the blood's coming from. Blood's coming from her stomach. She was stabilized.